If you're a language teacher and you're looking to do speaking activities with your students that they could do either in class or for homework, this is the video for you. These ideas will work in any language and I'm gonna show you by doing this some of the new AI features in Padlet as well as a couple of really important settings that you need to understand to make these activities possible. This is definitely not an introductory video to Padlet so if you don't know Padlet, there's a video on the screen now that you can click on and watch first so you learn Padlet. This definitely is advanced using Padlet for developing speaking skills with your students. Really hope you like the video and as always if you do please like it, please share it and of course please comment on it and join me on my YouTube channel. One last thing, many people ask me how I make my videos. I use Camtasia if you want to try it out there's a link to test it for free in the description. You can also buy it with a discount. I've provided a link there and there's also a free six part course that will take you through everything in how Camtasia works and I'll also put that in the description. Now I have recently attended a couple of webinars with Padlet regarding the AI and some of the updates and so this is right up to date May 2024. If we click on make a Padlet, I'm going to show you something really interesting just to start with. I just want to show you a really important setting. Okay, so to do this, we're just going to create a wall. Okay, now there is one problem when you create any activity in Padlet. If I click here, is that you'll notice that there are actually loads of things that students can do. But what a lot of teachers don't realize is that you can turn all of these off and have it that the only thing that they can do is record their audio or record a video. Now I'm gonna concentrate in this training on recording audio, okay? Now if you click here, you'll see that the audio button is actually here. But now I'm gonna show you how to turn all these options off and just have this one on the screen. And this is really important and most teachers don't know about this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn off all of the options. So the only thing that the students can do is write their name and record, nothing else, there's no other options. So what I'm gonna do on this Padlet before I even get the students to start working is click here on settings and scroll down and the one that we're looking for is this one here called post fields. You can go to it, okay, we're gonna need a subject. Now, I would even suggest that you don't even need the students to write anything, that's called the body. So you can click there and you can hide that. Okay, save. But the other thing that you can do, and this is really important, is go to the attachment and you'll see there's all these different ways that you can post, but I want you to turn them all off. So none at all, and just turn on audio recorder. And that will mean from now on that the only thing that the students can do is write their name and record audio. Watch what happens now if the students, if I log in as a student, or even if I just create a Padlet now, you'll notice it's only got two options. A, my name at the top, and B, my recording at the bottom. Now, if you want to keep the body because maybe you want to allow people to, or you want people to, as well as record, to write something, then fine. But I actually don't do that. I concentrate on just allowing the students to write their name and record their audio. Now, this opens up absolutely masses of options, and I'm gonna start with a couple of simple things, and then I'm gonna show you how to even go up another level by using another setting that really allows you to be very creative when working with Padlet. So the most obvious thing to do now is to actually come back down again to the settings and write a good description. So I'm gonna call this one, Introduce Yourself. And then I'm going to write a quite detailed description of what I want the students to do. So if you look here, I've written it in the introduction here, or in the description, introduce yourself to the class. Can you talk about the following teaching background, languages you speak, why are you doing the course and interests you have? Okay, really I should put a question mark after each one of those. Now that would be, and if I just simply close that down, you'll now see that that comes up on the screen. But the other thing that I always do if I'm gonna do an activity like this is that I will do a demo. So I will click here, I'll write my name at the top and I will record my audio. So I lit literally click on this button. See, now we've got this advantage that there's no other option. So I'm just gonna click here and I can see that the microphone's working and I'm gonna just do a quick uh, introduction. Hi, my name's Russell, uh, I'm a language teacher, blah, 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 blah. Okay, and then I would click on save 
and playback. I don't need to write my name, I've already written it. I click on save and that's done. Now one thing when you save the audio is that you do have to wait until you see this image and then click on publish. Now I like to do that so the students have got a model. Now other students can come along and do exactly the same thing. To share this Padlet, all you need to do is click here and you've got two options. You can share the link to the Padlet or a really good way of working is to just share the QR code and students can log in using their QR codes. Okay, that's a basic idea. Let's introduce now some of the AI features. Really quick break from the video, just a few seconds. If you like what you see and you want more free videos, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com. There's a menu system along the top that you can make use of, but if you scroll down on the first page, you'll see lots and lots of videos. I specialize in the use of technology for both teachers and students in the domain of language learning. Now, if you really wanna follow what I do, the best thing to do is to sign up to the newsletter. If you sign up to the newsletter, you get updated with all the latest videos. You also get updated on the webinars that we run and they're often free, just like the one that you can see on the screen now and also the blog posts and the courses that I run. But most interestingly, at the moment, if you sign up, you get a free 14 part video course where I basically highlight the most popular technologies on my website and on my YouTube channel that teachers and students have commented on. And there's about 14 videos in total and nearly everything that I recommend is free. Right, let's get back to the video. Now we're gonna take the level up a little bit by introducing AI. And I just wanna remind you that every time you make a new Padlet, you will need to reset it if you want only specific fields to be available. Every time that you create a Padlet, you will need to go in and say, well, I only want it there to be an audio option or a writing option or a video option, etc." So we're gonna click on make a Padlet. And this time we're gonna click on one called custom board, okay? So we're gonna click this. And the first thing that we're gonna do is I'm gonna just write in some instructions of a kind of board that is information laid out on the Padlet that the students will be able to read. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ask for 10 of the most significant inventions in the world. And I'm just gonna write that into here and then get the AI to do the magic. So custom boards are great for generating ideas that then students can comment on. So I've written here, can you create a board for me that shows pictures and text about 10 of the most important inventions of the 20th century? And I should put a question mark, I guess. Okay, even though I'm writing to AI, can you make the level appropriate for students around the age of 15 learning English? The English level needs to be around intermediate. So let's click on the button and see what happens. So I click here and it's gonna to start to generate the board for me. So now we've got all of these different um, inventions on the screen. And what we're gonna get the students to do is to read about some of them and then record their thoughts on which one they personally like or thinks the most important. So again, the first thing I'm gonna do is come up to here and go to the settings and obviously give some, write in some clear instructions for the student. So now what I've done is I've simply told the students to look at the board and decide on an invention. Now record a one minute argument saying why you think is the most important one. So do remember, you're gonna to need to go back again to the settings. You're gonna to need to come down to this really useful button, field post. I'm gonna turn off the body again. I don't want them writing anything. I just want them speaking. So I'm gonna save that. And again, I'm gonna to come to the attachments. I'm gonna turn them all off. And I'm only gonna turn on audio recorder. Now you could do it with webcam if you wanted, but I'm a big fan of just audio where I'm not actually asking the students to appear on the video but simply to record themselves speaking i click on save and now the students can come on and record their one minute video and of course i would do an example now i'm going to take the level up now for this final one and show you yet another setting that really can change the way you can work with um, Padlet. And one other thing, if you're more interested in learning more about the AI features in Padlet, then I'm gonna put a video on the screen now that you can watch where I've gone through at least three or four different ways that you can use AI in Padlet. 
Now I'm using a free account here because I want to demonstrate as well a couple of things that you can do. If you build up too many Padlets, one thing that you can do is just click and archive them because in the free account, you've only got up to three options. So I'm going to archive that Padlet and that frees up one for me to use. So I can click on my archived and I've got a number of archives. I can't remember what the limit is. I think it's eight. So you can actually work with up to 11 Padlets in the free account as long as you archive and you've only got three live at any one moment. Now I'm going to jump the level right up and the, how I'm going to do that is going to be by going to the make a padlet and this time what I'm going to do for this one is I'm just going to do a simple padlet so I'm going to click here and the one that I'm going to choose for this example is going to be um, we'll do a timeline okay so I'm going to click on done now I'm going to click on a couple of magic buttons now to really make this timeline work. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is click here and I'm gonna come down and this is really useful. I want to group posts by section. So what we can actually do in Padlet, and I'm just gonna save that by clicking off, is that we can have various sections and we can actually name this section. Now it would be possible, for example, to have a section where students would record whatever you've asked them to do, and then another section underneath where you could record the feedback uh, for each student. Now, the only thing is to remember that if you did do this, and it is a, definitely a possibility, that feedback would be public to all the other students. There are lots of ways that we can work with section, and I will do a more detailed video because we can create multiple sections, okay? We could even have a section if you say got a group of just five or six students with each student's name. Now you can name these sections. So I'm gonna put here, record. This is where I want the, the students to record. And then I'm gonna add another section called feedback. And this is where I'm gonna be providing audio feedback on each student. Now, obviously what I would need to do now is set some type of activity. Again, I would write this into the description. So we're gonna come down to the settings and I'm gonna just quickly set this activity up. So in this activity, the students have got to talk about their ideal house for one minute. So they would do the recordings. And again, let's just close that down once we've added in that information. The students would record here and then the teacher could leave feedback on each student's work here. So it is important to make sure that the students understand that they do their recordings here. One thing to remember again is that you will need to go over to your settings and come down again to post fields and you're gonna to need to do the same as before. So I'm gonna turn off the body because I don't want the body and I'm gonna save that and then I'm gonna turn off all of the options none except for audio recording, okay, and save that. So in theory, what could happen in this activity is that the students would do a recording, they would leave their recordings here to add a recording. All the students need to do is click on the plus button to add their post, let's put Russell, and then I would do my recording, and of course it would, they would all appear on this section. And then you as the teacher could come in afterwards and add your feedback to each recording and it would be underneath that person's recording. Of course, what you would also do is probably write the name, feedback for Russell, feedback for Tom, feedback for etc. So this is a way that you could actually do a whole speaking activity where the students record their, um, basically whatever you've asked them to do and for you then to provide feedback. Now I will do more work on sections because it does open up many, many options. For example, in this activity here, if I wanted to, I could have created another section where I had a few different pictures of houses that might stimulate the conversation. But what I would probably do in reality is that I would do the preparation work with the students in class to get them prepared to do this recording and possibly to actually do the recordings at home. And this is something when I was teaching, because these days I'm just a teacher trainer, I did that type of thing, not using Padlet, but using other tools in the past. Hopefully you found this video useful, giving you a few ideas, and certainly you've learned some of the more advanced features in Padlet. Okay, really hope you liked that video. And as I've said, please come over to teachertrainingvideos.com, loads more free material. Don't forget, if you sign up to the newsletter, then you get the 14 part free courses, as well as being updated on all the new videos that I put out, the webinars that we run are often free, etc. 
The other thing is, of course, from the website, you can contact me if you want me to do a presentation for your institution or do some training with a group of you or even as an individual, then I do run lots of different training options. And finally, if you'd like to have live training with me, then join me on my Patreon. I'll put the link in the description below and also put it on the screen. We meet once a month and we look at a particular technology in detail. We use Zoom and it's a great chance to actually work with the technologies and experience them. And also, of course, to share ideas with other teachers about how we would use them in class. And apart from the live training, you also get three additional videos every month looking at topics that often I haven't covered on YouTube, particularly AI technologies. And the interesting thing is if you join, you also get all of the backdated materials. So if I scroll through here, you'll see that there are many, many videos up on the site already, and people interacting and working with them and you would get access to all of the backdated content, many, many videos covering lots of different topics around particularly AI and using AI in language teaching. I'm gonna leave a few more videos on the screen now that you might find interesting uh, connecting with today's topic.